Conservative pundit and chairman of the anti-gay legal group Liberty Council, Matt Staver, spoke about the recent gay marriage case, and he invoked the classic slippery slope argument. Even schools that want to resist this, they, they don't want this. They're not supportive. They're not on the, they're not on the proactive, pro-homosexual agenda. But they're going to say, we've got to abide by it. Why? Because the Department of Education is going to say, we lose our funding if you don't, which they've already done. They've already threatened schools. You're going to lose your federal funding if you don't do this with your LGBT policy. So what's going to happen is these schools are going to be changing their curriculum, changing the programs. They're going to be infiltrating the schools with not just let's all be nice and tolerate and not bully one another, which all oh, that's fine. You know, I, I'm not in favor of bullying, but what we're talking about is not bullying. What they're going to be talking about is, hey, you need to experiment as a kindergarten with whether you're male or female. You need to, like, have some experiments and go out and have same-sex relationships. And it, that is absolutely happening, and it'll happen now on a more rapid pace. The government is telling kindergartners they have to get involved in same-sex relationships in order for their schools to get funding. It's happening right now, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen more. That's what he just said. Okay, what's amazing to me is the lack of shame on the right after this gay marriage decision. Because they can't, they don't have any real arguments against gays other than Bible, 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 religion. Please side with me. So what do they do? They have to make shit up. They have to do the slippery slope argument and just completely and utterly come up with bullshit. But Tom DeLay yesterday was like, I have a secret internal Justice Department memo that I got my hands on that say they're openly for pedophilia and they're going to push for that next. Really big guy, release the memo. You can't do it, right? Because it doesn't fucking exist. Of course the government's not pushing for ped pedophilia. Don't be ridiculous. But they just say it. I'll just say it. And then, and then I'll make people think it's real. But the only people you're convincing are the morons that are part of your base who are already who inclined to agree with you anyway, and that percentage of the country is shrinking day by day by day because you're alienating people when you make shit up like that. Even people who are rather conservative would hear this and say, really? They're making kindergartners have same-sex relationships. That's what's happening? Could you imagine that exists? You're in a kindergarten class. And they're, Bob, they're, Tim, get together. We're going we're gonna to make you go to Cheesecake Factory. You're going to have a date. And you're going to see whether or not you're into each other. Then tomorrow we'll come here and do a trans exercise. We're going to make you dress like a girl if you're a boy, a boy if you're a girl. And um, then we're going to make you kiss. And we're going to tape it. It's comical. And it's a, it's a, they're a parody of themselves. They're a caricature. Okay, none of this is real. You know it's not real. And it's just uh, them uh, having a tantrum because they know that they can't enforce bigotry via law much longer and they lost on the front uh, with gays. And they know they're going to keep losing as time goes by. 